You're an Amazon seller. Q4 is coming up. Do you know what you're supposed to be doing? Amazon certainly seems to have their own agenda about what you're supposed to be doing about Q4, but should you listen to them? Well, today I'm going to be talking about what Amazon tells you to do, what you should be doing, and everything in between. All that on the Sunken Stone channel. Welcome back to the Sunken Stone channel, where brands, agencies, and DIYers learn tips, tricks, and tutorials on how to sell better on Amazon. If you haven't already, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. That's going to keep you up to date on all the latest changes with Amazon. Uh, it's really going to help us out. And if you haven't already, download the Amazon advertising hierarchy in the description. That's going to tell you everything you know about setting up campaigns, which campaigns to set up and when. It's going to be really helpful, especially coming into Q4, which is right on our heels. Um, so if you haven't picked that up already, go ahead and download it. And with that, let's get started. So if you're an Amazon seller and you use the Amazon advertising UI, you've probably seen a message like this. It's this prepare campaigns for the holidays. You can't even close it. They don't even give you an X. They keep that front and center. Why would they do that? Because increased traffic during the holiday season typically increases cost per click. We updated bid, bid and budget guidance. Consider setting bids and budgets to improve your sales during the holidays. Now, why would Amazon tell you to do that? Because when everybody's willing to bid a significantly larger amount for the same or roughly the same, well, of course, inventory is going to go up. But if everybody has way wider open budgets and everyone's willing to bid a significant amount more, CBCs go up. Guess who wins from that? Amazon wins. They get to collect more of your money for these ad spots. So of course they're going to incentivize you to do these things. Now, should you not take any sort of marketing precaution for a Q4? Absolutely not. But what I'm telling you is be careful not to do things by the books that Amazon says. If you do things by Amazon's book, guess who's going to make the most money? It's Amazon. So we want you to make money. We want you to be profitable. We want you to get those sales and we don't want you to kneecap yourself. So how do you do that? Well, I'm going to show you what to avoid and what generally you should be expecting and looking out for. So if you haven't already, once again, download the Amazon advertising hierarchy because I'm going to be mentioning a couple of things related to that. But um, here's what you're not going to do. Double your bids and double your budgets. Don't do it. Amazon wants you to, but you shouldn't be doing that. And you know why? Because you're going to not be profitable. If your ads are already like roughly at an ACoS that you feel comfortable with, doubling your bids and budgets isn't just going to double your sales and get you more ad inventory. You're going to be paying for those and it's going to hurt and it's going to sting. So a lot of people come into Q4 with this mindset of like, it's going to be this amazing sales holiday. We're going to double sales. Now, certainly if you're like a kid's toy, things are probably going to be pretty flush for you and they should. But if you're just, you know, a seller that sells home goods or cards or maybe cards would actually do pretty well, but home goods or uh, fitness accessories or things like that, you're probably going to see a, a nice lift, um, but you have to do things in, in the correct way. So, so here are some tips, sort of tricks, things to look out for. So they say double your budgets. Uh, I pretty much always advocate for keeping an op like an open budget, keeping it wider than you need. Um, but what you need to consider is that if you increase your bids a lot, you're going to need to pay attention to what your CPCs are doing leading up to Black Friday and through that entire weekend. So the way you can do that is you can just isolate your CPCs on this graph and you can look at the campaign level and you can look at the keyword level and the account level to see what's happening to my CPCs, what's happening to my ACoS. If you're looking at something like a 30 day graph, um, in a lot of instances, not necessarily today, actually, fortunately, but in a lot of instances, um, especially early in the day, your ACoS is gonna be really, really high. So if you look at just ACoS alone, you may just think, whoa, our ACoS is really high, we need to, need to turn things down, or ACoS is always high, we don't really need to worry about it, I'm sure we're gonna be fine. But if you look at CPCs, CPCs tell the truth. And if you see CPCs rising during the day, consider even lowering bids. So if you have, let's say, sponsored brand, sponsored display, sponsored product, all of those all running, I may even pause something like a sponsored brand or sponsored display during Black Friday or the holiday season just to leave your sponsored product ads wide open and so that you can spend your money on the, the highest return targets. Um, that's because CPCs just tend to get really expensive around these times. Um, especially for like holiday placements. So for example, um, I'm looking at something here, kids puzzles, great holiday, like gift keyword. So 
Um, if you just have your basic sponsored brand ad, this spot most likely is going to get pretty expensive. Now, if you've invested, if you've done a big brand store update for the holidays, you have your brand store all organized and you update the background image in the copy to be like people opening a package, you know, that could convert really, really well during Q4. If you're willing to put in the work to do personalized ads, then yeah, go crazy. But if you have the same ads, sponsor product, sponsor brand, all those, then, you know, please be careful. Like you could end up spending more than you need. So if you have personalized ads, yeah, get spendy and keep an eye on your conversions. If you don't, don't be afraid to like sort of back off your sponsored product, sponsored display ads if your returns are starting to get pretty poor there. The second thing to consider is instead of just increasing your bids for all your keywords, maybe make a separate ad group that is like gifts for whoever. So like if you sell a beard oil, that'd be gift for dad or gift for fathers or Christmas gift for dad. So consider exploring gift type keywords when you're coming into Q4 because you know, those are going to be performing pretty good. I would still set the bids low on those um, because those CPCs are going to be high for the best spots. But if you have somebody who's shopping around a bunch of different pages, you know, that could end up actually being decent for you if you just set your bids reasonably. Amazon also recently introduced this budget tool, uh, which lets you know average time and budgets for all your main campaigns. I would make sure that your highest return, so either your exact match campaigns, especially your brand campaigns, um, that those have the budget to, to spend through. Um, but something like a higher ACoS, like a sponsored brand, you know, maybe don't be so concerned. So um, whatever your highest return sponsored product campaigns are, I'd make sure the budget is open for those. Everything else, you know, you don't need to be spending tons and tons of money because it's possible that ACoS goes up. If you look historically at CPCs during the holiday season, you'll see something just like a, a little lift. So like here, CPCs up, 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 up towards the towards Christmas and then it falls back down. And this doesn't always go perfectly, but you can just see an upward trend leading up into the holiday season. Um, and then again here, sort of keeps going up until Christmas. It even keeps going because we have a lot of supplements and then it's happening again this year. So CPCs continue to increase up to Q4. Sometimes there's a little bit of relief, but CPCs do tend up to do tend to increase leading up to Q4. So once again, for like the fifth time this video, please be careful. So let your highest return campaign spend out. Other, like if you have a broad match campaign or even your automatic campaigns, consider just pausing those so that your main performing keywords can spend as much as you want. Like Q4 should not be a time of discovering and testing. Q4 should be a time of executing on the things you know work because things get expensive and the risk of overspending is really, really high. The last tip I'm gonna offer for people coming into Q4 is do a query test. So do this on your brand terms, do this on your most important non-brand terms, um, and even do this on like competitor terms to see what they're doing. So let's say, you know, you're selling kids puzzles again. Like if you type in kids puzzles, Let's say you're Coogan, Coogum, you're like, okay, here's our ad. You know, maybe we could improve that. That doesn't look, you know, as good or as full as I want. But then scrolling down, it's like, okay, this spot here used to belong to me, but now it's being taken by this 21 review count person right here. So if you were just looking at the dashboard, that might be something you miss. But I would go ahead and manually search the things that, um, are your most important keywords, especially if you have them isolated in a performance, it's gonna just make things really easy. A lot of softwares will let you know your highest sales. You can also just search sales descending on your performance campaigns. Um, and that'll be a really good way for you to say, hey, the ones that are giving us the most sales, let's go ahead and take a look. Like if we've got a sponsored brand video campaign and we're looking at our sponsored product top converting keywords, you might say, let's just risk like, here's this uh, Coca. So we have, uh, this video ad here is by one brand, this is by another brand, and this is by a third brand. Um, I would say if you've got like, if it, if this was wooden puzzles for kids, um, and you've got this like perfect little wooden puzzle for kids, I would make sure that like your video, like if you are gonna run sponsored brand ads, make sure it's just for your top keywords and then pause everything else. Um, it might sound like a lot of work to do this pause, you know, like kind of extra effort, but Keep in mind that Q4 is not just a sure bet for tons and tons of sales. A lot of people are going to be getting really aggressive with ads. So cautionary tale, please be careful with your spend. Don't just double your bids and double your budgets. Be judicious. Add in gift keywords. 
maybe do holiday specific advertising and marketing. Um, but if anything, limit your campaigns to just your highest performing, limit your keywords to just your highest performing, and keep an eye on the actual detail page of your product or your highest search terms itself to make sure that you know your ads are actually showing um, and that you're not just bidding double for no reason or you're not just keeping it exactly the same and you're losing out on your sales. So there you have it, everyone. Hopefully this video was helpful. Um, hopefully you're gonna come into Q4 and kill it. I'm, I'm hoping that everybody has an excellent, excellent sales season and that they don't end up going super underwater with their ACoS. Uh, if you haven't already, please download the advertising hierarchy in the description. If you're still wondering like how to set up ads in the first place, Q4 is gonna be a little crazy for you, but you can check out this video right here, our just basic 101 on how to set up sponsored product ads uh, in five minutes or less. Um, and if you haven't already, please check out uh, this 201 video on our like extra long date range lifetime type optimization stuff. It's our ACoS lowering strategy that's gonna also be really helpful coming into Q4 because things tend to get really, really expensive. If you want more tips on how to reduce your ACoS, check out this video. It's our seven tips to reduce campaign-wide ACoS. Um, really helpful stuff. Yeah, you could be saving thousands of dollars just from that video view alone. And with that, happy optimizing everyone.